We're ready to start roofing the garage. The roofs, the roofs, 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 the roofs, and taking precautions so everything goes smoothly. We are starting on the far side in case we make any mistakes. Even though it's the heat of summer, I'm all about being resourceful, but I've never heard of using diapers as a knee pad. And we're not feeling 100%. Yeah, separated a rib. We are motivated to get this roof done. When you start to have problems, it can be an absolute disaster. Unfortunately, we have a major problem. An idiot made the order. And that idiot is me. We are uh, trying to get an early start on things today before the sun gets too hot and uh, it's already too hot. The sun is destroying us right now, but we've got our sun hats on, we've got our sun shirts on, and we are ready to start installing the trim for our metal roofing. We have everything here that we need to start installing the metal roof on the garage, and there's a lot of metal roof that goes on the garage. We have to do four separate pitches, all of the trim, all of the caps, all of the edges. It's gonna be a lot of work, so we're basically gonna start by installing the trim and actually first we have to put up that last fascia board over there. So got a couple things to do and then we'll get into the nitty gritty. super hot today. It's a gorgeous summer day. There's not a cloud in the sky. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely better that it's not raining on a day that we're doing roofing, but being 100 degrees is also not ideal, but we're getting it done. And right now, Trent and Brandon are just going through everything and making sure they have basically what they need. Everything is here that has been ordered and that they remember how to install it and in what order it needs to be installed. Trent, they've used this exact same roof before on the house, so a little bit of it should come back once they like refamiliarize themselves with each piece. Um, but the very beginning is the slowest part, and then it should speed up from here. Watch out, Lincoln. Here goes nothing. This is the first piece of drip edge that's going to go on this far side, and we are starting on the far side in case we make any mistakes. You won't get to see it very often. All right, I got the first two screws into our first piece of drip edge and I am very quickly reminded how tedious and hot and like aggravating this is. Working with sheet metal is like, sometimes it can be really nice when it turns out nice and when you start to have problems, it can be an absolute disaster. And this is what we're gonna be doing all day. I set out on a road that I built with my own two I wanted to show you the update on the footings behind our house. Everything is dry. Yesterday, the concrete crew came and removed the forms on the sides of the footings. It's looking really good. Uh, in a day or so, I think they're gonna come back and start building the forms for the walls. And then we need to get that inspected and then we can get it poured. And we need to wait a little bit, backfill, and then we can start framing. I've never been But you can walk through this world without a few punches upon your chin It's nice and cold today <laughs> Yeah, I'm freezing Me too, I need a jacket <laughs> Perfect day for this <laughs> Should've brought my beard <laughs> We're all sweating and it's like nine in the morning. The real good news is that even though this might look not perfect, it's way flatter and shallower of a pitch than the house. So it's gonna be tedious and take some time, but it's way less sketchy. The upper part's just as steep as the house. But at least you don't have to be up there for as long as you were up on the house. True. 
And if you fall, you kind of just like, you know, bounce off this part. Have and... a sort of flat spot to land. Yeah, yeah, you have a landing zone at least. <laughs> it's kind of funny, the other day I went to a trampoline park with Leo and I really hurt my back. And then the other day Trent was at jujitsu and kind of rolling around and really hurt his ribs. And everyone's always like, oh, you guys are gonna get hurt building this house. It's like, nope, building the house is just fine. But living life has been difficult recently. <laughs> yeah, I separated a rib. It's not the end of the world, but still. Not fun. <laughs> so now that the drip edge is done, I'm gonna start hanging the continuous cleat on the sides of the roof so that we can have our end panels that hook onto the continuous cleat. But I've gotta get a continuous cleat and an end panel so that I can figure out kinda of how high those things need to sit in order to be installed. And you fill the darkness with shining lights, yeah. see from here how does it look uh it looks pretty rough i feel like we knew less when we did the house and it turned out okay so <laughs> maybe we'll have some miracles happen here All right, the drip edge is fully installed. The continuous cleats on both sides are fully installed. Now is where it gets really fun. They're gonna start running the panels and uh, they're just figuring out spacing right now to make sure everything ends up being symmetrical when they continue on the rest of the other pitches on the roof. Um, but it's about to get really real here. I'm uh, up here double checking the length of our panels and now that we've got our drip edge on and I'm measuring for the flashing that goes against the second roof and uh, I think our panels are too short. How did that happen? An idiot made the order and that idiot is me. The panels for the upper roof are 19 foot 2 inches. The panels for the lower roof are 17 feet, four inches, and they probably need to be like 17 feet, eight inches. So we could use the upper panels for the lower portion of the roof and then order new panels for the upper roof. It's really like our only option. And now we have a crap ton of panels that are just garbage pretty much. The issue is the stuff all has to be like done correctly or water will get inside. You can't just like add pieces. We're gonna do some more brainstorming, measuring, double checking and research. It's a little work. Yeah, over here. Okay, there's good news and bad news. The bad news is one of these roof pitches is not gonna work. We're gonna have to reorder the panels. The good news, funnily enough, that it is good news, is that the, the roof pitches on the lower sides are not exactly the same size. So one side will work and we don't have to reorder two whole sides of roof panels, just one side. What's well, easier, order new roof and wait for weeks or go cut that overhang down four inches? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Thanks Hi. for coming up. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Sergio? Sergio. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. As far as finishing goes, like the finish, what would you like? Like smooth wall, texture? Um, in here is like whatever's easiest. Like just texture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever will be like the least amount of labor and be the cheapest because it's just going to be a garage. Okay. I did the drywall in here, so don't look at it. We just like tape it. Tape it, yeah. 
or if you want a smooth finish, whatever. Yeah, I mean, whatever will look nice. I, I'm not like super picky about it, honestly. There's an apartment upstairs, and I think up there we would probably want smooth, but it's also no ceiling. I think it's just the walls, but there's a bathroom. Okay. So we can go up there and take a look at it. Ladder's a little bit steep. Be careful. Yeah, of course. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so See much. You. Thank yeah. you. Thank my you. Friend. you okay? One okay. Day. So that was Sergio. Sergio came up here to give us a bid to do the drywall. He's been doing it for years. He's got a lot of experience. I'm really excited to see what drywall contractors make the drywall look like because <laughs> all I know is I can make it look like crap. So if I pay somebody else to make it look like crap, I'll be very upset. But if I pay these guys, I think it's probably going to look amazing. And uh, they're going to do the casita upstairs. They're going to do the man cave and the TRX garage. And then we'll go from there. But uh, I think we're going to have to cut like six inches off of the roof of our man cave. Good news, again, is that the roofs, the roofs, 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 the roofs are the same, they are symmetrical until you get to the overhang. And the overhang on this side is just four inches longer. And that's what makes those panels be too short. So it's kind of good, like we have that excess four inches that we can just cut off. It's a pain and it's tedious and it's annoying and it slows down the whole day of installing roofing, but it will make it so that we can use those panels and not have to reorder anything. Yeah, it's way faster and way cheaper to cut the fascia off over here, cut all the rafters back, you know, four, four and a half inches, I think was the difference. And then just buy a new, you know, two by 10, nail it on there for our new fascia and then reinstall the drip edge and use the panels that we have. That's just like the easiest, cheapest, quickest way to uh, solve our problem. It was my problem because I measured that roof and I measured this roof. And mm -hmm. I was like, the other side's symmetrical. I'll just double the order. It's fixable. It's gonna be quite a bit of labor tearing that roof apart. So here we go. gonna be fun and it's not gonna be easy but we could either procrastinate or just get it done so we've decided to just get it done it's gonna be a little goopy and messy especially because of the ice and water shield uh, tar paper it's like really goopy in the Sun it's really hot and sticky so this is gonna be tricky but there's nothing left to do but to do it as Trent says Turn to the other side If you stay right here I might move my hand to your face It's been a long and tiresome day I've been waiting to come home and give you everything that I have ah! I know when it starts to get it's hot It's like venom <laughs> Yeah it is how it ought to be Every day should be like a hovering cloud When it's only you and me I came inside to sit down for a minute and enjoy the air conditioning. It is very hot outside today and I did want to take a minute out of today's video to let you guys know today's video is actually sponsored by Surfshark. Now, why would you need a VPN? You would need a virtual private network anytime that you're connected to a public network. So on a public network, you kind of think of it like a swimming pool. And basically everybody in the area that's connected to that Wi-Fi is all jumping into the same swimming pool. You're sharing germs, they have access to touching you and taking your information. That's the type of thing that happens when you're on a public Wi-Fi. Anybody that has the ability to do so can obtain things like passwords, social security numbers. These are things that are very, very scary and it's extremely easy to prevent. Having a VPN actually encrypts your incoming and your outgoing information and it scribbles it up into a bunch of stuff that nobody can even decipher. Now this is a very very cool service and Surfshark does an amazing job of this and they're very 
very affordable. In fact, right now, if you guys are interested in checking it out, they're doing a special deal where if you sign up right now by clicking the link in our description, you can get 83% off and your first three months are absolutely free. It's literally just a couple bucks a month. It is the cheapest insurance and peace of mind that you can ever buy. So if you don't have a VPN, I highly suggest jumping down and checking out Surfshark. Now that I'm nice and cool, I'm gonna go back out and get to work. We're losing uh, about six or seven inches of roof that I really wished we would have had. That's like that little extra overhang would have been really nice, but we could have kept it if I was smart and I came over here and measured this roof instead of just assuming that they were symmetrical like they were supposed to be, and then they weren't. But now we've uh, ripped the ice and water shield back. We've snapped a line at the exact length that our roof needs to be for our roofing to work. We've ran the saw along the top, cut the sheathing and the top of all the joists, and now, or the rafters, and now we're uh, gonna try and cut the rafters from below. And hopefully there's enough overlap there between the saw blades cutting from below and cutting from above that they meet. And uh, this piece can just fall off and we don't have to do like some crazy sawzall finishing of each rafter. And now there's a lot of sawdust up here which makes it really slippery. So not off to a great start for roofing. Let's just put it that way. Looking good. One more to go. Never give up, never surrender. But sometimes you gotta call it quits. <laughs> I think that's probably what we're gonna do right now. <laughs> it's hot, we're not making a lot of progress. We're basically just, we're moving backwards. Yeah. Not only are we like not even ready to roof now, we gotta put a fascia back up on here. We gotta redo the ice and water shield on the edge. Maybe we're gonna take these pieces and throw them in the dump trailer, make a list of things that we need for tomorrow. And then tomorrow, We'll get our new fascia put on here, get everything buttoned up, and we'll start putting the roof in. I hear a car horn outside my window. I hear the screen door squeak. My baby walks in, says, get up of that pillow. Daylight's burning as we speak. Good morning, everybody. The last time we worked was actually Friday, and today is Monday, and over the weekend, we decided to do something crazy. We decided not to work, which is a little bit abnormal for us because we tend to work 24-7, every single day and night, weekends or not. We don't ever really get weekends. Um, Sundays is always a really big editing day for me to get out Monday's video. We just never really take days off, which is fine, and this weekend we decided, you know what, mentally, we need it. We really need it. We didn't go anywhere or do anything crazy. We hung out with friends, we went to the pool, Leo had a swim lesson, we went on a mountain bike ride. It just really felt like getting back to who we are as people, as humans, uh, as a family. <sighs> and it's really crazy what a little bit of intentional time together can do for you. It made a huge difference, and today we're feeling so refreshed and excited to get back to roofing. Good morning. You brought diapers for a heat shield? For my knee pad. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. It was so hot up there last week. Be hot today. I'm all about being resourceful, but I've never heard of using diapers as a knee pad. <laughs> I didn't think of it either. And then Sonny's said that her uncle, when they redid the roof on their cabin, he used diapers because that's all he had. And it worked? I was like, that's a good idea. Yeah. We have knee pads inside. I know, but I don't like the... <clears throat> the constriction? Yeah. Diapers are more flexible. Way more flexible. Hopefully they work. 
Hopefully. You want some gloves? No. You just love splinters? I'm one with the splinter. <laughs> Isn't that the bad guy? Or no, the, the older guy in the... Good guy. The good guy, right? Splinter? Mm-hmm. What am I thinking of? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's it. You would know. My favorite show. Which one were you? Michelangelo. Michelangelo? <laughs> Which one were you? Did you watch that? Ninja Turtles? Yeah. Raphael. Raphael? <laughs> that was funny. So Brandon stopped and picked up our 2x10s and a piece of 5 8 sheathing that we're going to use to kind of fill the gaps. I just destroyed your shirt. Okay. So now we've got our 2x10s, we can start nailing our fascia on and then we're going to cut some strips of this 5 8 sheathing to kind of fill the gaps where the sheathing doesn't run all the way to the fascia. Mm. The, the sheathing should be nailed in and tied into the fascia, like for structural strength, but <laughs> since we had to cut this off, we don't really get that option. So. We're uh, gonna start nailing this thing on. As soon as we get it up, we can throw our drip edge up. Then we'll be ready to start doing our roofing. On today's adventures of one step forward and two steps back, we are almost back to where we started. There we go. Jose's crew is here forming walls today. And we are doing our very best to stay super hydrated. So Brandon has this old water jug that is like the screws keep falling out. It leaks every time it tips over. So we went and got him a new water jug. Cleaned and filled with ice water. It has come to our attention that your water jug sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we got you a new one. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, it doesn't suck. It doesn't suck. The okay, handle sorry. sucks. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't have to use, where'd it go? I put it in, in there the shade. in the shade. You don't have to use it. You can keep using the leaky one if you want. But, I like uh, the straw. Yeah, I figured you might like it. And you don't have to tip it up anymore. Right? You just get to hold it. No dripping on me. Yeah. <laughs> you can have both. I could have both. Extra hydration. I got a backup. There you a go. Of, a lot of water. A lot of water. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah, of course. We literally saw it in the store the other day and Trent's immediate first reaction was, oh, Brandon needs this. <laughs> and we spent like 20 minutes looking at colors and uh, sizes. I almost bought you a really cool Stanley one, but it was like a teal color. Yeah, the color was a big discussion. <laughs> Come all you young rounders And a story I'll tell Of the promise of heaven And the warning of hell so Brandon's gonna rip a couple of our, uh, a couple strips of this 5 8 sheathing uh, to like an inch and 3 8 so that we can put it on top of our fascia and then on our, our outside fascias we actually need some some sheathing as well. We did a crappy job when we built this roof. We made some mistakes. Big surprise. We made a mistake, big surprise. Happens all the time here. But uh, Brandon's gonna cut some strips and put those in our gaps so that when our metal roofing goes on, it's nice and flush and there's no spongy corners or anything like that. I actually have to go remove some more siding off of the sunroom because one of the concrete walls has to go up past our concrete wall on the sunroom. So I'm gonna go do that. I'll take you guys with me and we'll come back when Brandon's got these strips on here and we'll be ready to start throwing on the roof. We actually all went mountain biking as a family for the very first time, and I was so nervous. I was really telling Trent, like, this was a terrible idea, and I did not want to do this, but the only option that we could find for Leo to come with us, besides a tow-behind trailer, is this contraption called a shotgun. So he sits here, he holds on here, his feet strap in right there. I thought it was gonna be a huge disaster, and immediately, Leo loved it. Absolutely loved it. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. It gives me a lot of hope for us to be able to get back into doing some of the activities that we really enjoy and being able to take Leo along for the ride with us. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. 
You're on a ladder? Even the sky's falling down. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. That is not a ladder. Trent. Oh my gosh, it's gonna fall in your face. Alright. So sketchy. Uh, nice hopping. Thank you. Professional Jumping from cliffs so high. Trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. But we get up and start from the ground. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know. Okay. Okay, we're at a pretty crucial part right here where Trent is trying to figure out where the floor height is going to start on the addition. And this landing is actually going to extend. That window is going to go somewhere else and this will become like a doorway. And this landing will extend into a hallway. So it needs to match up perfectly with the height of this landing, which is a little difficult because we don't want to take the window out right now because we still want to keep living in the house while we're building the addition. So he's trying to approximate the height of this landing and mark it on the outside. The window doesn't open, it's fixed, which is hard. There's carpet, which is hard, and like a pad under the carpet. It's framed out with a windowsill. He's doing his best um, and it needs to be basically exact in order to make this work. Ah oh, yes, the level will help. Should. I also wanted to show you something that has been like two years in the making. I love this bathroom and it's also a laundry room and it's also a storage, linen and cleaning closet. And yesterday, look what Trent did. So simple, so easy, and it makes such a huge difference. It's only taken us about two years to hang up a couple hooks to keep this closet organized, but now everything has a place. Everything is easy to find and easy to grab when you need it, and it's so functional. Um, it's just like the little things, you know? And I'm so happy about this one. Step stool, mop, Swiffers, broom, vacuum attachments, the vacuum and a laundry basket. Thank you, Trent. <laughs> Trent is back to figuring out math equations for floor heights, and it's hard. Yeah. quadruple insulated the exterior and interior of this house because of obviously where we live and how cold it gets actually and how hot it gets insulating keeps it warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer but now we have to take off all these layers of insulation in order to attach the addition to the back of the house and I just forgot like how extensive that process is just taking it off is hard I know It was so cute. Yesterday we took Frank and Lika biking with us and Frank hasn't been biking in a couple years probably and he immediately knew exactly what we were doing. He was yipping and jumping and so excited. He is born to ride, 100%. And they both did great. They stayed close to us the entire time. Um, we actually encountered some wildlife and they were amazing and didn't chase anything and stood right next to us when we asked them to stop. It was a very successful trip for everybody involved. We met this mama moose and her calf three separate times on our spontaneous adventure around the mountain. And she crossed the road at a safe distance from us and everyone stayed happy and safe. Running down the same road Like so many times before I've never felt this lonely But I'm trying not to show Must 
something, something I forgot. Your hips don't lie? <laughs> I think everything is in a good spot over behind the house. The guys are going to continue uh, forming the walls to be poured. And in the meantime, I think we're ready to start working on this roof. It was never enough. So please slow down. I'm just trying to find my way back to you. I'm taking the long road. It on it. Harder, not harder. I'm the guy that like always just bends over on the ground to do stuff. I like build this nice welding table and then I just like throw a bunch of stuff on the welding table and then like get on my hands and knees and weld. <laughs> I'm just like always that guy, but especially when something's like really serious and it has to be like perfect, I like, I feel like I can control it better when it's on the ground, you know, <laughs> when it's like up, I just, I feel like there's leg variable and like bending over and I'm just more stable on the ground, so. We're gonna try it this way. The question is, how many extra panels did you order? Uh, zero. Oh, well, don't mess this up. That's, that is my objective. Only days. Days. Only days. Could be better, could be worse. I'm happy with that. Ready for those diapers? I think so. All right. I'm really excited to see if this works. Here we go. Diapers on the knees, never before seen. Oh, he's going in, I see. Absolutely. I was really excited to see them on the outsides of your knees. No. He's gonna have to get those are in there and he's gonna wash his pants and they're <laughs> gonna come out with giant sponge <laughs> knees. <laughs> Is the continuous pleat on both sides? All right, we're officially back to where we started. We had to say that it was feeling a little bit cooler today. Of course, the sun came out. At least the, the diaper will soak up your knee, knee sweat. Maybe. <laughs> My socks will probably do that. <laughs> The diapers didn't make it. The diapers failed. Oh, it was a valiant effort. They were just making my legs extra hot. And I'm not even <laughs> kneeling down. So. Yeah. In case you're wondering, don't try diapers in your knees. We are up here making great progress. Don't mind all of our little dusty, dirty footprints, but we have half of one of the four roof sections completely done. Well, it's not completely done, but we still have to put the outside corner on and we still have to flash, obviously, the top, but we're not going to do any of that until everything is done. So we've got half of this roof completely mounted down. We just need to finish this half and then do the other three. And we're about ready to call it quits for the day. Not to mention, it is extremely hot out here. And being up here on this black roof, it's a doozy. So we're uh, just checking for square to make sure that we haven't gotten out of square as we've put these panels up. And then I think we're gonna call it a day, but hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to finish all of the rest of the roof. This is why we work.
All right, well, Allie and Leo are about to head to the pool to enjoy some yes. fun in the sun, and I'm heading to jujitsu with Joel. We're gonna go and have some fun ourselves, but uh, I think this is probably where we're gonna let you go. I feel like we did make some good progress in this episode. We did, we did. get the roof at least started. Yeah. It was a trial. We had to cut half the roof off to like start over again, but now we got that it going. You're, now that you're doing it, you're in a good groove and it's going quickly. So Very true. in like a day, I think you can finish the whole rest of the roof. No, but maybe two days or three days or four days. One day, one day. I'm, I'm gonna say at least three more days, but yeah. <laughs> Anyway, this is where we're gonna let you guys go. If you guys enjoyed this episode, yeah. make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Hope you guys are staying cool out there and enjoying your summer as well. Thank you guys, we love you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk and